Hello, kitties. I got my new lashes to Malika. Huh? You see it? Uh, I kind of like Dr. Sue's lashes or something. They're my special lashes. I love these lashes. See, the thing is, I'm in drag. I'm not trying to be a girl. I'm a drag queen, damn it. I'm an entertainer. So, yeah, I love to be in makeup, dress, and all that stuff. I love these lashes. Look at these lashes. Damn. Yeah, huh? Like single and date that chick, I'm not a woman. I'm a man. Oh no! Ah! <laughs> All in the name of entertainment. If I don't amuse you, then I'm doing something wrong. If I don't create sometimes some kind of like shock and awe, then something's very really, really stale inside of me that it's just time to refresh my repertoire. If I create an impact and you just can't forget about me no matter how hard you try and I'm stuck in your mind that I did my job right. So, I love drag too because I can be active uh, in the community, in the gay community, but also in the out other communities in general, but yeah, it's a, the main thing is that yeah, the main staple that ambassadors of the gay community are us, the drag queens, of course, and I love it. I love it. But the thing is, we also are part of fundraisers to help the community. See? And I love that. You know, so. And it's a little bit easier on the body, you know, I did wrestling for nine years or so, close to ten years, nine years and a half, somewhere there. Uh, as when the, I say about the fourth, fifth year is when I started to slow down, just focus on the acting career more, and wrestle less as the years went by, but still, I still got the pains, of course, so, uh, you know, I got bum knee, i left bum knee, my, my back still cracks and pops, and my knee still wants to be a good one, and, and pop sometimes. It's hell to get up in the morning, because I feel like an old man, uh, and it's been like uh, about a year and a half to come. About, I'm getting close to like, yeah. March 2010 was the last time I wrestled. And I wrestled just like this. Well, my makeup, of course, has evolved for a sense that I was in drag. And I won the match. Everybody else went down. It was a six man tag and I in the oh no. Uh would I ever come back to wrestling? I don't know. But I don't wanna be the wrestler. I wanna be a manager. If I come back to wrestling, I have to be a wrestling manager. That's what I think. And if I am a wrestling manager, of course I really a wrestling manager of the years. Or bad guys. Bad guys oh heels. That's what we call them bad guys. We call them heels. And I'll have a great time with it. And I'm picturing myself kind of like the likes of Sensational Sherry of one. I don't envision myself imitating her makeup. Even though her makeup was out I mean, it was fabulous makeup. But I'm pretty much with the idea of the gowns, the nice dresses, you know. Be elegant, be out there, be classy, you know, bling, the dress, the wig. I don't know about the wigs. I probably use wigs. I'm mean, use long hair. My hair's kind of long now, but either way, style. Style. You know, bring. And then, of course, you know, I'm, I'm a drag queen. So I'll bring style. I'll bring mystique. I'll bring something into the table. And my intentions with my prodigies have nothing to do with romance, with dating. Oh, it's about business. I am the one who makes sure my prodigy becomes a champion. Because after all, if my champion, no, my prodigy becomes a champion, then I, not only he makes more money, I'll also make more money. Because I'm investing money on these guys, right? 
I'm investing my time on them. I'm showing them the ropes. I'm showing them how to become champions. I'm showing them how to wrestle. I'm showing them how to, you know, proper etiquette, how to communicate to people, how to cut promos, that kind of stuff. Uh, you know, wrestling manager is far more than just being the pretty face walking the wrestler to the, to the ring. And even though, you know, some say, well, that's more of an actor thing or more of a wrestling thing. It's more of a... Truthfully, and origi originally, as far as, you know, as far as I've been taught, no, is that the thing is, the wrestling manager is more than what needs to hide. A wrestling manager is more of a mentor to the wrestler. And it doesn't matter if this particular wrestler can truly cut promos. The point is, generally, a wrestling manager is an experienced wrestler who just retired as a competitor, but now is more of a mentor for the newer protege. And that's what I would like to do. I mean, I would like to be that protege for the, you know, the newer wrestler or whatever. And show them the ropes, show them the etiquette, show them to wrestle, you know, you know, smart him up a little bit, you know, and, and then groom him so then he can look more and more as, as a, like a champion and behave like a champion and all that stuff. You know, so I, I picture wrestlers, I agree with Ric Flair, you know, if you're a wrestler, you gotta look the part, you gotta be, you know, look good. Uh, that's, you know, okay, no frowning. <laughs> You get the picture. So, yeah, if I go back to wrestling, that's going to be the plan right there is wrestling manager. When did you get him? That's it. When did you get him? The manager of champions and the champion of managers. Love it. Throw some thoughts. Give me some feedbacks. Whatever. Let me know. I'm thinking about it, but... Uh, you can never say never to these things, so you never know. Through the way.